Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today, I gotta fix a homemade fence post driver. Um, word of advice, do not make one of these with this screw on cap. And the reason why I say so is, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it blew out the top completely. And the only saving grace I had was the fact that I was wearing my hat and that my post was not in the ground yet. Um, and the reason why I say that is because let's say this one was it and I'm driving on it right here and it blew out and whenever it did, of course, it's going to want to pull your hands down at the same time. It's pulling your body forward and hit my head right on here and caused me to, uh, just about split my head open. Luckily I was wearing my hat. So it hit like this and, uh, it didn't do it. But if I was actually if this thing was further down and we'll use this broomstick as an example, if it was further down, then whenever it drove down completely, it would have pulled me down and I would have hit right on the top of it. And then I probably would have been in the hospital. Um, but now we got to fix this thing. And so the only way I can think of to fix it is to go ahead and weld on a steel cap. Um, Went to the scrapyard like I always do, found a couple of rounds, different sizes, and uh, these, I guess, were scrapped from something else that was cut out. And these two right here are my best bets. Uh, one of them is thicker than the other. Looks like it's about maybe three eighths or so. Um, this one here is about quarter inch. And I want to go as thick as possible because I don't want this to happen again. But you can see from the other side of the pipe, neither one and these are both the the quarter inch and the the three eighths inch they're both about the same size but neither one of them actually go into here which would be more ideal because then i could kind of weld it to the inside so i'm going to have to actually weld a butt joint for the most part so first thing i got to do is i'm going to grind a bevel both on the well first thing i got to do is cut that cap off because it's way too tight for me to get off um, and then grind a bevel on what's left, grind a bevel on this, and then we're going to attempt to weld it. Uh, in my shop, I don't have 220. Well, I do have 220 available, and I've got a, uh, a welder that can both use 110 and 220, um, but I don't have it wired up yet for the 220. So I do have 110. I'm going to attempt to use it, and hopefully it will weld a good enough bead around this that I won't have to worry about it. So let's cut this thing off. So as you can see, I got it cleaned up everywhere that I think it'll be welded. Uh, you can see the, it's not really a 45 and, uh, and really on this top piece here, I really should grind in even more of a bevel because as you can see on the sides, it's, it's not exactly meeting, but it'll still give me a lot better surface to weld to a lot more surface to weld to, and hopefully it'll stay. I don't want to grind on it anymore because just going to take more time and I think it's going to hold just fine the way it is. So let's go ahead and get the welder set up and uh, go ahead and tack it and then weld it up. All right. So I think this is too thick of steel for what I'm doing. And I think it's going to probably trip the breaker. It's only a 20 amp breaker and this is on 110, but we'll try it out and see. Thank you. 
close up that gap that opened up. Well, there you go. As you can see, not the best of welds. It's still a little bit hot, um, but it doesn't have to be pretty. It looks like it's welded on there really well. And that 3 8 plate right there, I don't think I'm gonna have any issues with busting through that. So uh, it may break the weld again. And if that's the case, I'll go ahead and grind it all off of there and weld it a little better, a little better bevel and all that. Um, but I think it's probably gonna hold. It looks pretty solid. So. Let's go ahead and test it out and then uh, then maybe give it a quick paint job. That way it doesn't rust through later on. Well, as you saw from the wardrobe change, this is a new day. It was dark last night when I was welding this up. Um, and it's almost dark again, but it looks like it's holding pretty well. I, uh, I guess I'm just going to have to try it and see, make sure. I don't see any cracking or anything like that. Um, I'm going to try my best to hold it without my thumbs underneath it. That way, if it does let loose, that it'll go down without pulling me down with it. So... That's the only way I can do at first, just to test it out and see. But I'm going to be watching it and make sure that I don't see any hairline cracks that are starting to open up. Um, that's actually what happened with this one, wherever the heck it went. It dropped down here somewhere. But I, uh, I was actually stupid whenever I was doing it because I saw that it was cracking. And I wasn't thinking anything about the fact that this thing weighs like 5 to 10 pounds. And once you're holding on to it like this you're not thinking about letting go quick enough to be able to let it drop. So the only way to get around it is to put my thumbs up here. And I can still operate it, but if it lets loose, hopefully I let loose too and it doesn't pull me down into the pole. So, um, but yeah, I'll just, the other one was opening up and I knew it was opening up and I knew it was gonna break and I just, it never occurred to me that that was gonna happen. And uh, so you can't really see it anymore. It's been like two weeks since it happened, but. Luckily, it was, it, I mean, it was like that close to just splitting my head open. It did bleed, but I actually was just holding my, my hand to my hat and hoping that the pressure was going to keep it from bleeding much. And uh, I guess it didn't split all the way through, luckily. It just kind of really pressed into it and scraped it at the same time. And it was like just a fraction of an inch probably from splitting open. So, But it's healed up nicely, I'm happy to say. And it looks like now I've actually got something that I can use again. So I get to go put up some fencing for some pigs that I'm about to get. Um, supposed to have gotten them over here sooner, but haven't done it yet because I don't have a pen for them. So this will help me out and we'll get the job done. And uh, when the pigs get here, I'll show you those. So anyway, if you got any questions about this, any concerns, any comments, anything like that, just leave them in the comments. I uh, love to read them, love to respond to them. Just try to keep it clean. Uh, something that I wouldn't mind reading, but I don't mind people calling me out and showing me things that I've done wrong, things that I can do better, because that's just an experience that I can, you know, that's just something I can learn from. You guys may know a lot more about things than I do, and uh, and I'm willing to learn from you, just like hopefully you're learning from me. If you got any videos that you'd like me to do, any of the stuff you've seen me do before, uh, and you'd like me to expand on that or something, or just do something completely different, you know, other things that you've seen around my shop and stuff. Um, just let me know. Put it in the comments. I'll try my best to do it. I've done a few videos like that. Uh, hopefully it was helpful to people. I know other people have gotten some help from it all. So, uh, but just, yeah, just let me know. So this is all I got for now. Until next time, y'all take care.